Monty, uh, first of all, how's the week been? And um, what did you learn? Did you learn anything new about yourself and your coaching style last Sunday afternoon in that epic win against the Jets? Ah, oh, look, it was a, a great experience, you know, the, my first uh, as a head coach in the A League. Um, so, look, I learned that that the team's uh, resilient, organised, and and at the end, obviously, we had to, you know, we had to um, defend well. They, they threw everything at us in the last 10, 15 minutes, and we defended well, and we could have caught them numerous times on the counter attack. So, look, I learned that the work we've done in pre-season came to fruition, and, and the lads believe in themselves and, and believe in the, in the in the game plan, and they can execute what we ask them to do. So, look, it's one game. It's uh, you know the first round of the season. I'm sure the next couple of weeks is going to be uh, you know going to be very different for every team once they get going. But yeah, just just really pleased with the result, and yeah, we move on to, to tomorrow's game. Uh, after you, we're going to talk to Ruan, and really looking forward to having a chat with him. But um, he missed the FFA Cup game out in Mudgee. Must have been awesome to have a colossus back in defence. Yeah, Ruan is a massive part of uh, a part of our squad. Uh, picked up a little niggle in pre-season, and look, we didn't risk him against Blacktown. I thought it was the right decision, and he proved on the weekend that he's, he's for me he's one of the best centre backs in, in the A League. Um, and, and after having you know lack of game time in pre-season, I thought it was he was as you say colossus at the back with Kai Rolls there and Jacob Farrell and Stormy. I thought they defended really well, um, you know, throughout the contest. Do you tinker with a winning outfit heading into the game against the Knicks? No, not really. Obviously, you know, some, sometimes things happen. You have to make a change. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll assess the squad today, and then I'll pick the, the best team I feel is, is going to go there and get a result. But look, consistency is key, and and, and to keep a, a settled team is is always a good thing to do. But look, we have got three games next week as well. Um, you know, but uh, we just concentrate on on Wellington down in Wollongong at the Wind Stadium tomorrow. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get through training today, and and, and 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 yeah, we'll be ready for the game. What did you stay and watch their game last week? Uh, because they were the late show last Sunday night and uh, you know, Wellington took an early lead with a penalty. Yeah, I did stay and watch the game. I stayed with Sergio, my assistant, and, and we watched the game. The conditions <laughs> got a little bit worse. The, the wind was swirling and the rain was, was smashing down, so it was nice to be inside and, and not stood on the touchline for that game. But look, you know, it was a, it was a good game. You know, Wellington are a good team. They're well organised, they're structured, they're disciplined. They've got a coach who, who knows how he wants to play. So, you know, it's going to be a tough game. And, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll go there expecting, you know, expecting nothing, nothing less than a, than a battle. And hopefully we can, uh, we, you know, we can perform like we did last week. Are they a team that um, they're, at times they're unpredictable and at their best they are yeah, absolute top shelf? Yeah, look, they've got some good players, especially in that front third. Uh, but you know, they lost uh, Stephen Taylor last year; it was a big influence for them. Uh, and De Villa in the middle of the park. But like I said, they've got some good players. Uh, they've got some attacking players that, that are dangerous if you give them time and space on the ball. And defensively, they're really well structured. So, like any team, you know, it's about how we play. It's about understanding how they play and, uh, and making sure that you know everybody's prepared on the day.